Well, hello and welcome to my balcony. Um, I have set up my lightsaber tripod over there with its kind of um, filter to stop the sunshine um, blasting me out or to make me too bright. And here I am on my first day in Naples. I arrived last night and it was wet and it was obviously it was very dark. It was, you know, about seven o'clock and I got a taxi and the taxi was <laughs> driving in Naples. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, people were going up on pavements and all this tooting and tooting. And it was obviously rush hour. Um, but I got here and this morning the sun is out and it's just wonderful. So I went out and I bought myself a geranium, you know, priorities some flowers it was between a geranium and some mimosa and I thought well a geranium will last me the month and I came across this amazing vegetable stall which had look at that radicchio isn't it just glorious it had lots and lots of different kinds um, so I treated myself to this glorious glorious <laughs> leaves here the owner of the stand was terribly concerned that I might think it was a lettuce and come back and complain that my lettuce tasted funny. Um, so I got that. And now I think I am going to head down to the beach and walk along and get myself an espresso. But first, I think I did promise you a tour of the apartment. Now, this is an apartment that we stayed in for three nights last year. Last year our holiday was going from Edinburgh to here in Naples by train. And we stayed here for three days and then we headed back, back home. And I loved Naples so much. That is why I decided that we're going to come back this year and then I kind of extended it so that I'm here for a month. And came back to exactly the same apartment. And as soon as I walked in, I remembered why I loved it so much. Because, you know, a year is quite a long time and we weren't here for very long and maybe I had it in my memory wrong. But thankfully, it feels like somebody's own holiday home. There's antique furniture, there's handmade bits, the bedding has this beautiful, beautiful daisy embroidery on it. Um, and everything has been sorted out in a very practical and lovely way, but it is in no way fancy. It's not been airbrushed. It's not been kind of like bodenized. So I would say it's not all kind of beige and tasteful art. It's just as though somebody has it as their own space with all of the personality that that may, um, entails. So it's between, it's got balconies at both sides. This balcony that I'm on here, it look, overlooks the Bay of Naples. It's, I can see Vesuvius, I can see Capri, see all of the boats that are there. And then the other balcony is for putting your washing out. <laughs> and that overlooks like a, a courtyard that's got palm trees and things, but everybody in the back is just using their balcony for doing the laundry. And I just think that is, is wonderful. I've already got some things hanging out that I hand washed last night just so that I could hang them out um, and join in. Um, so now <laughs> I'm off to the beach and to get my first coffee of the day.